Alright, so welcome back to the Final Fantasy VII Necrosis mod. Hope you guys had a fantastic week. I'm so glad you're here. And uh, I'm excited to get down and get funky with another another couple episodes of the Necrosis mod. Um, I need to look around real quick at who has what. Uh, who's KJ? That's, okay, that's Cloud. I, I remember, <laughs> I gotta remember who's who here. Uh, to Irish is Tifa, right? Yeah. Oh, whoops. Let me do that. That's fine. Now. Okay, I just wanted to give her something to use magic-wise, because she is going to be our damage source for a while. Um, Eris is going to be all of our damage for a while, because we can use all of her MP without too much of a worry. Where am I going? Uh, I probably won't run away from too much. Now that I have Eris, I want to try to use her to her fullest, uh, fullest use here. Up. Oh, I apologize. The sound was muted. There we go. Um. So yes, I have uh, I have a ton to talk about today. Uh, but we're about to do the uh, Nibelheim, Nibelheim flashback. So we'll just talk about it. You know, we, we got plenty of time to talk. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of uh, waiting around during that. These things are kind of annoying. My cover materia still isn't like super high level. It's still level one, I think. So um, unfortunately, Eris isn't blocking too much. That's right. I want to get a little bit of experience now. It would be nice. While these things are still worth a lot. Yo, 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 annoyed us with the $10 donation. I appreciate that so much. Love you too. Phone figures of the chat for that incredible $10 donation. I enjoy the, uh, the gift as well. <laughs> Thank you, man. Um, so the first thing I wanted to talk about while we're getting the calm here is uh, I got a new mic. Uh, you might notice... I sound a little better or worse. Uh, I, I tested it out. It sounds pretty good. Uh, but um, but yeah, Black Friday, there was this, uh, this mic on sale, so I went ahead and bought it up. Um, there's been a couple of people worried about my audio, and uh, although I'm not an audio guru by any means, I'm trying my best to, uh, to help out those of you that like get super annoyed with bad audio. Um, so let me know how it sounds. Uh, if you're one of those people that really cares about audio, leave a comment. Let me know how it sounds. I, I probably need to put in some filters just to make sure I don't uh, I don't um, peak as much. But other than that, it sounded pretty good on my end. Um, yeah, it's the uh, it's Yeti's professional USB mic. It's like the best mic you can get while being USB, which is good for me because I don't have. Uh, like a soundboard. Um, yo, 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 it's Gordo with the six month three sub. Thank you so much. Welcome back to the 4 8 crew. Both figures in the chat for that incredible half a year of support from my man Gordo. I love you, man. Thank you so much for the support. You're the bomb. Um, also, for those of you that uh, are just watching the Necrosis mod, either on Twitch or on YouTube, uh, you haven't seen my new setup yet. I got a new desk, so I'm a little lower now. You can see more of my sweet bod, um, and I'm pretty excited about uh, my new desk. It's really helping me out. I actually have room now to like put stuff, <laughs> so that's nice. Um, also, I got some Christmas decorations back here. I forgot to plug them in. I'm going to plug in my lights. 
There we go. Merry Christmas. Got some Christmas decorations back here. Those those socks a fan made for me. Arithium's wife made me those those sweet socks. They say death and Mrs. Death on them. Um, but more importantly than the socks, uh, like I actually was curious about this. I wanted to see if uh, Young Cloud gets uh, max HP. He doesn't. So the, the Nibelheim flashbacks the same. Um, if you if you look if you look down here, I'll uh, webcam only here. You see those gifts? You see all those beautiful uh, those beautiful packages? We're gonna be we're gonna be opening those on stream once a day every day that I stream for all of December. Uh, we did this last year, and it was a lot of fun. Basically, my wife picked out a bunch of random games from my collection and uh, wrapped them, and we picked every day one of them to open and play. Uh, we got all sorts of fun random stuff. We got, like, Cruising USA on N64, uh, Frogger on Atari. Um, what else did we get? We got Infamous Second Son on PS4. We got... Uh, a lot of a lot of cool stuff, and uh, we got 16 more random games to open over the month of December, so it should be a lot of fun. Uh, we'll be opening the first one today after the Necrosis mod. So if you stick around after the Necrosis mod, you can see what that's going to be. Um, and uh, so that's that. Uh, I wanted to address some questions on uh, some of the videos. Um, obviously there were a lot of, uh, a lot of questions on the, on the videos. I'm going to ignore any of them that had anything to do with healing because, uh, no healing. Uh, <laughs> and there were quite a bit, okay? It, against my, you know, I tried my hardest. By the way, there's no reason to go do the Tifa thing because that's just for her ultimate weapon and we're not going to get that, so. Not worried about that. Oops. Um, you also get a elemental materia or something, I don't remember. You get some other kind of materia, but I don't care. Um, yes, it's on cardioid mode. We could also do the glitch here if we wanted to, but that would be silly. Um, so, <laughs> there, were, there were a lot of questions about mandatory ends. Uh, please, for the love of God, watch the first episode of the series. I can't, I, I, you know, I can't say it enough. Like, I could understand, you know, like, first of all, no healing is such a meme that I don't know how anyone even asks a question about it. But even if you miss the meme about no healing in literally every episode, um, I, I said, to, I said specifically in the first episode, three minutes of the first episode that uh, mandatory ends don't work so please stop asking that question we will all make fun of you if you ask it so please stop asking the question do mandatory ends work they do not work if they did work I would not use them anyways so stop asking it well I would use them because they're mandatory but then I would I would fix my HP to match what it's supposed to be um, Still, some people asked about draining. No, draining does not work. No healing works. Please stop asking the question. We will all make fun of you. Stop asking the question. Um, a lot of people commented on the difficulty of the mod, it, which is pretty funny because when I started this mod, I really didn't know what to expect. Um, I didn't know how hard it was going to be. I felt like it was going to be pretty hard. I mean, just, just the idea of it's pretty hard. Um, I certainly didn't think it was going to be super easy, uh, but I figured with a little bit of thought and, and strategy, you know, I, I should be able to get through it pretty easily, which is why I decided to do it on active battle, to make it like an extra challenge, because I think I can do it on weight, like, pretty easily. Um, so that's why I added the active battle kind of incentive. Thank you for the host, by the way, Napaz. Appreciate it a lot, man. Um... 
so... These battles don't matter anyways, by the way. Like, you get nothing from these. Um... But it's funny to hear people comment about the difficulty, uh, because... What's up, card? Um... I've heard everything from, wow, this mod is so easy, you're a loser, go kill yourself, to, like, this is impossible, why are you even trying it, it's impossible, you're an idiot. Like, I've, I've gotten both spectrums, which is just hilarious to me. Because to me, it, it, it falls somewhere in the middle. I feel like, if you did it on weight battle, and you totally cheesed everything, um, it would be easy, you know? If you just... At the very moment you could, got a gold chocobo, went and got Knights of the Round, just Knights of the Round did everything. Or if you did on weight battle and used the weight trick and just kind of cheesed most stuff. You could even do the speedrun strats and teleport to the debug room, give yourself max of every materia, and then just jump to Sephiroth and Knights of the Round and be over. So like, yes, the mod is possible, I promise you. I could cheat the crap out of it if I wanted to, I'm choosing not to. But yes, it is definitely possible. And then, to those of you that say it's, like, impossible, or it's, you know, too easy, um, I, I recommend you try it out, because it's, it's definitely not as easy as it, it might look. Um, we've already taken, you know, a fifth of our health in Midgar, which, um, I expected to do. I expected to take a lot of damage in Midgar, um, because a lot of the bosses are just, they have so much non-negotiable damage you know like you have no shield yet you have no cover for most of it you don't have a lot of tools that you need to protect yourself and so you're just constantly taking damage like especially the uh like um rufus like it's obviously going to do damage to you the elevator bosses just sit there and fire at you constantly um you know uh the hojo boss is like, I don't know why he disappeared like that. I've never seen that. Um, the Hojo boss has like so many enemies, so many adds with him that like he's obviously gonna do damage to you. So there's just a lot of undodgeable damage. Oh, and Motorball, you know, obviously does a lot of damage, has a lot of attacks that hit everyone, and um, he automatically hits you at the start of the battle. So there's just a lot of damage that like is going to happen. Um, from here on out, there's a lot of bosses we can we can do some strats to to really help out. Um, I was talking earlier about poison, and uh, come on, look at the thing. Oh yeah, you have to talk to Sephiroth. That's right. Man, it's been a while since I speed ran this game. Um, yeah, Knights of the Round is uh, two. I don't think it's 250. Isn't it 240 or 230? And then if you MP turbo it, then it's 255, I believe. Maybe I think I feel like it's 240. I could be wrong. Um, but if you if you get a if you get a gold chocobo and just go get knights of the round, you can go get mime and then it's free. So uh, you know, it's this is definitely once you get a gold chocobo, you can destroy this mod if you really wanted to. Um, but that's later anyways. But yeah, uh, if anyone's saying like, oh, this is too easy, I, I recommend you try it out. It's, it's definitely harder. It, it's definitely takes some, some knowing of the game. Um, my, I think my favorite comment I read was somebody said like, I'm a wuss for saving the game. All right, listen, first of all, <laughs> if you think I'm not going to save the game, I highly recommend you try this mod out without saving. If you if you want to try to run through this entire game, not getting poisoned, not getting death, not getting petrified, not getting lucky sevens, not getting uh, dueled, not not getting anything that can oh not getting demied, none of that happening to you throughout the entire game. It's gonna take some luck. It's definitely possible. Don't get me wrong. Um, but uh, if you want to try to do that, by all means, do that. I'm not doing that for two reasons. One, I've played enough Final Fantasy VII already. And two, 
this is a YouTube Let's Play, and I don't think anyone wants to see me do Midgar a thousand times. Um, if you have, like, that would be like a thousand episodes, okay? And I'm not trying to do a thousand episodes of this. I, I would like to play another video game besides Final Fantasy VII within the next, like, three years. So, uh, and it's not an exaggeration. Like, I, I don't think a lot of people that watch the YouTube understand what I go through to bring this to you. Um, like, you might think, like, oh, you know, a thousand episodes, that, that sounds like a lot, but you could totally do it. Like, do you have any idea how much work it took to do a hundred episodes? Like, <laughs> I have to record this every Friday for four hours. Four hours of my live stream is dedicated to this. Then I have to edit, go through and edit all four of those hours and upload them Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and then do it again on Friday. There's no time to do any more than four episodes. Um, I stream the other three days of the week. I stream Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and I have a son to take care of on the weekends and every other day of the week and every other hour of my life. Um, I, there's no time. Like, I, if I had to do a thousand episodes of this, it would take me until 2020 to finish it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's not happening. If you want to try it, you go right ahead. I don't know why I did that. You just have to leave. Uh, but I'm not doing that for this final fit for this let's play. Okay. Um, but good luck on your journey to beat this without saving. You would get absolutely massacred by a lot of stuff. Unless you just speed ran it. If you speed ran it and did wrong warp, the wrong warp, then you could do it pretty fast. You could do it in three hours. How's it going, B1? Uh, but yeah, that was like my favorite. Like, wow, you're saving? What a loser. But dude, I have to, this is like a show. Like, I have to save, first of all. I can't, <laughs> I can't not save. I can't just, all right, I'm going to sit here for 100 hours and just knock this out. Like, I have to eat. Um, yeah, that was, that was interesting. Uh, so, co coming up here, we have a couple different bosses, and I was talking earlier about poison. Um, sorry, I, for I don't know what I'm doing. I'm, in, I'm ahead of myself. Um, there, pretty much, there's like seven, uh, out of like the next seven bosses, like five of them can be poisoned. Um... And since we're on active battle, it's, it really destroys them and, and also screws a little bit with their AI. Um, and you'll see that coming up. Um, I already knew a lot of the strategies I was going to use coming into this mod. The one boss that I really didn't know what I was going to do about is Bottom Swell. So yesterday, I did a little uh, snooping around uh into his into the wiki into his coding um and i found a way to hopefully beat bottom swell without too much problem so you will see that shortly and the rest of the bosses i'm not worried about at all um there's a good amount of cheese we can use good amount of strategies we can use to get through the next couple bosses um, so I expect to take hopefully about the same amount of damage as we did in Midgar over the next couple bosses. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how random en encounters go because they might start to get a little, uh, painful. Might have to start just running away all the time, which shouldn't be too bad because we're already an okay level. See you, General Orvon. No, I've never played Lunar 1 or 2. What's up, Zykros? Uh, the Midgar Zolom's beatable, but we're not going to beat him. Um, because uh, there's no reason to. Am I going to die? Um... You know, we're going to save our HP because there's no reason to beat the Midgar's Zolm. He doesn't give you anything. All he gives you is beta, and well, I'm not going to be using beta. I'm not really going to be using any enemy skills because, except Big Guard. 
because uh, we don't need it. We don't want to use the MP. So. <laughs> yeah. The YouTube comments have been interesting. I do want to thank everybody in the YouTube comments that were really uh, supportive, though. There were a lot of great supportive YouTube comments, especially in the first episode. So I thank you all for your support. I'm glad you're enjoying the mod. I thought this mod would be really inter interesting, even if it's easy, even if it's hard, even if it's, you know, doesn't turn out to be a lot. I, I think it's interesting just to see how it goes, you know, like to, to, to see it in action. So it should be a lot of fun. How's it going, I, Scott? Uh, if you just look at the title of the stream, you can see what the mod is. Uh, that's why I put it in the title, so that everyone will know without having to ask. What's up, Zygros? Yeah, so there's no sources, um, which, come to think of it, I feel like I shouldn't even use sources anyways, like, even if they were there, because it's, it's, it'd make it too easy, I think. Thanks, M1. Good luck with your work. Almost done with the flashback. So yeah, um, another thing I wanted to talk about is the, uh, you know, I was talking about it before, but you could, you could just, uh, like, Yuffie Warp or Wrong Warp and destroy this game. And it, you know, since that's not fixed in this mod, you could technically do it. But obviously it won't be. My, my goal for this run is a couple of things. Um, I didn't want to copy sources, which we I found out later that you can't even have sources, so that works out. Um, I want to do the whole thing on active battle, just for an extra challenge. Um, and part of me wants to not use Knights of the Round at all. Um, if it comes to it, I'll use it. But I, I think I want to try to just get through without using it. I feel like it might be necessary for a, a couple things. Um, yo, Dr. Blackheart with a five month reset. Thank you so much. Welcome back to the 4 8 crew. Phone figures to the chat for the incredible five months of support. It's your boy, Blackheart. Thank you, man. Appreciate it a lot. Hi, Mendo. I did now. Um, so, I, the only thing that I can like think of off the top of my head that, that Knights of the Round might really be necessary for is uh, Safer Sephiroth, because, well, I don't know, it just depends on how strong I am then, because if you're, if you're strong at all, you can destroy Safer Sephiroth really fast before he ever gets to do anything, um, so... I feel like it, I feel like Saber Sephiroth might be all right, but if we're down to like really low health at that point, you know, it might be necessary. Who knows? You know, I, mean, I might be down to a thousand HP by the time we get to the end of this two and have to just knight to the round everything. It just kind of depends on what happens, but I'm gonna do my best to not have to, um, you know, grind a gold chocobo. Um, I think. If nothing else, Mime might be really nice to get, but we'll see. I can get Quadra Magic without a Chocobo, so if I can do the whole thing with just Quadra Magic, then we'll be good. I forgot to shop, and I want to shop. So there we go. Back in action. Done with the Nibelheim flashback. Oh, the other thing I want to talk about, uh, Janice Duo was talking in the chat earlier about what do we do if we end up 
in a spot where we have too little HP. Um, that's why I've been saving so much, so we can go back to like where we think we can improve the run. Um, what can I sell here? Sell this, sell those. I'm going to keep one elixir for, uh, you know, something special. Uh, that's it. I want... I can't imagine a world where I would want a hyper, so I think I'll just pass on that. I want some of these. I want some of these. Um... And uh, Janice was also... I want another poison materia too. Uh, Janice was also talking about um, you know, how low our characters are after Midgar. But like I said, I expected to take a lot of damage um, in Midgar. I think now is when we can really get through a lot of the bosses without taking much damage at all. So that's pretty much the goal. I really want these weapons too. I... Even the full metal staff might be nice. Nah, she'll be spamming magic. So really all I want is the Mithril Saber. Um, because that's all Cloud's going to be doing is attacking for a really long time. Um, also, I like, I'm like. i going to be keeping Red 13 in the party for a while, I think. Because once I get, um, once I get his weapon in Cosmo Canyon, uh, which... The name is escaping me at the moment. Um, that weapon is so strong that it's really going to help us in the early game. So I'm going to buy this, and then I really don't want to. I really don't want to leave calm until I have two poison materials. It's going to be super crucial. So I'm going to go try to farm some money without losing too much HP. Seraph comb, thank you. Yeah, the Seraph Comb is incredibly powerful and really helps the early game because it's just stronger than anything you can get with any character for, I think it's like 14 save points. You can steal the Atomic Scissors. I don't think I'll be using Barret yet, though, but I might, I might try my hand at some stealing. Let's see what I can get. These enemies are annoying. They're fast. I need to turn down game speed a little bit. That's one thing I definitely need to do. Um, one thing I've been thinking about as well is, is items. Um, an item that I should have gotten in Midgar and I didn't are spider webs. Um, there's one point in the game where you can get spider webs um, in the beginning, and, and it's Midgar. After that, you can't get them until you get to uh, Gungaga. And spider webs are super useful for some early bosses, so I'm kind of sad I didn't get them. I just wasn't thinking about it at the time. Um, but hopefully, hopefully we don't need them too much. Uh, I was gonna do something now, I forget what it was. Oh, I didn't give you your sword. That's what it was. Eris does have cover, but it's only level 1, so it's pretty poopy. It needs a lot of AP to get to level 2 also. There you go, Eris. I 
I should give her poison, I think. Poison might actually work better against these guys. Oh, that's what I was going to do. I was going to lower battle speed. Yeah, stealing really sucks in Final Fantasy VII. It always has. Um, the the kind of like the subtraction it takes away from your chance, dependent on level, is too great. Um, you know, if you're a lower level, it really gives you a really crappy chance to steal. And there's not enough in the game that increases your chance either. There's really only the weapon with Tifa. So. I think I liked fire better. Poison didn't do enough raw damage. I'm not gonna stay here for two. I'll probably bail out now. I'm taking too much damage from these things. There's parts later in the game where it'll be a lot easier for me to grind without taking damage. Um, especially once I get stuff like Sleep Hell. I could get Earth, but Earth's not super useful and I'll probably never level it up, level it up enough for it to be useful, so... So now we're going to do the speedrun strat for um, the Midgar Zolom because we don't want to fight him. He'll just be a pain. He'll be a lot of damage and give us nothing, so we definitely don't want to fight him. And I don't want to spend the money on Chocobos either. Yeah, we do want to get the Chocomong material though, because it's going to be extremely useful for a couple bosses. Um, I don't know why I think. Um, so a lot of the bosses in the early game can be cheesed by uh, Cross Slash. Not cheesed, but uh, Cross Slash helps a lot because it paralyzes. But we can't use Cross Slash in this mod, so... The next best thing is Chocomog, and it's really all we have to paralyze things all the way up until we get to Nibelheim and we can get Dazers. So, um, and once you get Dazers, a lot of the bosses afterwards don't can't get paralyzed. It's really just all the bosses beforehand. So, um, Chocomog's going to be very useful for a couple things. Plus, since Eris, since Eris's MP doesn't matter. Um, it'll be really nice to give her Chocomog, um, so she can just spam it for a lot of damage, because summons do pretty good damage. It'll also increase her magic stat, so fire does more. Oh, that's right, it stops, not paralyzes. Either way, most bosses like are either you can do both or neither. I always forget which one it is.
Have you seen Final Fantasy VII Abridged? Yeah, it's pretty funny. I'm not usually, like, a big fan of stuff like that. Like, I only watched a little bit of, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged back when it was super popular. But, uh, it's definitely good. They did a good job. Okay, uh, unfortunately, you have kind of, like, no... Actually, I'm gonna give you the carbon angle. Uh, maybe not. Eh. I kind of want Cloud to have a lot, as much defense as possible, like, at all times. I could give you four slots, I guess. Then you can't all, though. I need that stupid weapon. I didn't really think this through. I guess I don't really need fire all if I have Chocobo, so I'll just do that. And then you can have poison all. It's fine. Where are you going? in a bad spot. I don't see any reason to get Chocobo lore. Then you have to buy it. I don't want to purchase it. Stop it! It's true, it is bonus luck, but I'm not going to have many spots to put Materia for much longer. Alright, I'll wait. I don't want to wait, but I'll wait. Okay, of course, now he's in a good spot. Uh, this could be bad. I saw Red 13 looks like he's taking a poop there. <laughs> it's got like the weirdest, the weirdest thing going on. I don't really want to fight anything in here. Everything's kind of scary. Stop! God, that 35 damage on Cloud really blows. Not something I want to see. Holy crap. Getting good. Need to turn up the battle speed again. So run away better. Others are nice because they sell for a lot. I know you might be thinking, like, wow, why does money even matter? But it really does, because I can't... I can't grind at this part of the game without taking damage, so I really need to make money other ways. So picking up, like, an Ether that's worth a lot of gill is actually pretty nice.
How's it going, Sin Dragon? Yes, I did enjoy your gift very much, so. Strange hearing that from you. Surprise. I kind of wonder if... I should have fought that, honestly. Alright, um, now lies an interesting conundrum. Do we get Yuffie? Holy crap, this thing's through 78 damage. Um, getting Yuffie now would be nice. For someone to uh, take damage. But I guess I'm not going to be using her yet anyways. Wow, that's really sad. They like just barely didn't die. Um, didn't really give me much either. Should have saved and not fought those, but oh well. This might be a good idea too to do these um, for certain things. I forget what all the gifts are you get here, but right now we don't have the money to spend on this, so. But uh, yeah, my thought process is since we're not gonna be using Yuffie yet anyways, um, I forgot, they don't sell stuff till you do the first one, I think. Or maybe you, after you talk to this guy. Um, if we get her later, she'll be a higher level. Because she's her level's based on our level. So it might be nice to get her later, and then we don't have to grind for her. Oh, yeah, let's talk to the old man, not this guy. Well, I can talk to this guy anyway, so... Eventually. Oh, no, he just shows the thing. That's right. He doesn't tell you crap until you talk to the old guy. Um, so, yeah, I think I'm going to get Yuffie later. Same with Vincent. Especially because we don't really want to fight... What's his name? Although with Poison, he's not too bad. So... You don't make a profit off of this, do you? I don't think you do. I think you get back what you don't spend, but I don't think you get a profit off of this. So it's probably not smart to do this unless what we're going to get is good. There's only like three different parts of the game where if you come back and do this, you get something worth anything. Um, but I don't remember what those three times are. Thanks, Big Red. Have a good one, man. You get the magic comb from this one? That'll be nice to get. I'm going to do that. I kind of wonder if the cheese strat is smart to do, though, because it costs more to do it. Now I need 4,000 gil for it. I ain't got that kind of money, but we can come back. Magicom would be nice, but once we get the uh, 
Seraph Comb. Nothing ever matters again. <laughs> no weapon ever matters again. Okay, sell that. These don't sell, right? I didn't know sources sell. I thought they were worth one. Uh, we can probably get rid of this too. What's up, Sega Chief? How's it going, my man? <laughs> you devil. This isn't a safe place for you, man. This isn't a safe place for you, Sega Chief. Everyone's gonna... <laughs> you evil being! skip out on Yuffie for now and we're just gonna go right to the business uh, yeah I don't want to fight these this guy is a jerk yeah, you can see this actually got much damage we could maybe fight those uh, where am I going? So, like, these are pretty good fights to fight. Yeah, a lot of people are looking forward to uh, Final Fantasy VIII New Threat. I still need to run through Final Fantasy VIII again. It's been too long since I've played it. But after that, maybe I could try out the uh, Final Fantasy VIII New Threat. Sounds like a lot of fun. Eris could cover like ever, that'd be sweet. <laughs> that'd be downright fantastic. Rip can't find Junon, yeah. You know how long it's been since I've like had to walk to Junon? Like seven years. Actually like a month ago, but you know. He has a lot of health, jeez. It's alright. I'm liking these fights. Taking like no damage. Okay, Junon. This way. <laughs> I get to read in my chat and then I just kind of like walk forward. I'm like, oh, right. Dude, Junon's not easy to find their first time. This is my first time ever playing this video game, so, you know, it's hard. Pretty difficult thing. What's up, Hollow Spirit? Thanks, man. Sorry you gotta go, but thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Hope to see you again soon. Yeah, Cloud's not having a good day, even though he has the carbon bangle. Still not having a good day. Alright, so. This is the boss we've all been waiting for. What the? Forgot about that. Good old bottom swell. So, um. 
there's a couple different things I can do here, but um, I don't think his, his attacks are water, not ice, but so, hmm. How do I want to do this? How much... We'll do this. So we gotta hope that poison hits. And basically, um, what I found out about this boss is kind of like the same thing with uh, Materia Keeper, where if you poison him, uh, or the same thing with Midgar Zolem as well, where if you poison him and then you don't attack him anymore, uh, he never reaches the phase where he starts using um, like some of his worst attacks, like Tidal Wave and the Bubble. He'll just continually use the same physical attack. So that's the plan. Um, the hope is that we never see the bubble. Instead of... With the, the original plan was to just let Eris tank the bubble. But hopefully with this strat, we'll never see the bubble. We'll see what happens. And using this strat, we can uh, we can just defend. And defending will help a lot, obviously, with taking less damage over the course of this. I like that cover. Looks like it's working. Looks like all he's using is tail attack. Nice dodge. He's about to take a bunch of poison. Maybe done a little more damage before just defending, but I did get first try poison, so I consider this a victory. Should have sensed him. Uh, you can't use Chocomog again. You only get one shot of it because it's on level one. for this, so shouldn't be too bad. What did Cloud do to you, Bottom Slow? 
I might try that again and try to do a little more damage before letting poison do its thing to maybe take a little less damage ourselves. See what happens. But yeah. That uh that strat definitely works better than taking a bubble. So I'll take it. This thing's stupid, by the way. I looked up how this worked, because I always wondered. Um, basically, like, each of these ticks has a number. And once you get to a certain number, she wakes up. I always thought, like, you had to get the best one. You know, like, for her to wake up. Like, I thought you had to get the best breath possible and it would just sit here and make you do it till you got it but it's actually it actually just counts up from a number I think the best way to do it is like two full breaths and then a half breath or something like I think that's like what the speed run does or something Oops. see you crossfade No, it's not a random number. It's like 30 or something, and then each one of these is like 1. So it's like, maybe like a full breath is like 8 or something, and then you need like 30 max to, to wake her up. That should do it. Remember that one time we switched the uh, the model for that breath indicator, and like the girl was the breath indicator. That was nice. Can we leave? Oh, I didn't know you could leave there. I had to sleep first. All right, let's try that again. Let's see if we can get a better. So we had eight eight three two and seven nine five five on this one. Let's see if we can do a little better than that. Oops. Not that one. I'm not really leapfrogging saves, I'm just keeping saves in case something goes wrong. But so far I haven't used any of them. If, you know, worse comes to worse, we get to like a part of the game where it's like, okay, we gotta go back, then we can use them. Because since I'm doing this for a let's play, you know, I don't want to have to play the whole game over again. Also, that crit on Cloud was freaking terrible. I already want to reset. Did that actually? Did I hit Cloud or did T or uh, Eris block it? I didn't see. All I saw was a crit for like 80 damage, which is uh, definitely not what you want. I don't remember. No, he doesn't have any resistance. I just remember what you steal from him. Yeah, see, he's already moving his tail, so this probably is going to be not good. <laughs> he hit, he took that, that crit. Yeah, it seems like you definitely want to just poison and then, uh, you know, not deal, because now I'm going to get a bubble, which is all bad. 
Watch this destroy Red 13. Look at his health. <laughs> Freaking freaking destroyed. Yeah, we're just gonna keep that save. I think I think that went pretty well. Like we didn't get crit at all. Cloud took some damage, but overall it was not bad, so we're just gonna keep it. That strat worked out really well, though. I mean, Bottom Slow was one of the bosses I was worried about the most, and that really helped, so. Oh, really? It defaults on no? I thought it defaulted on yes. Wait, now it's no? 